The Laplace equation is our example equation for uh, for this first time. We're going to introduce the um, the finite difference method. But uh, before we do that, I want to derive the Laplace equation so that you can see that it comes from a real physical system. So it gives you sort of a more concrete feel for what's going on here. And this is one specific example. You have any problem that can be turned into a, a similar form, and you can you can use uh, similar intuition. So let's say we have this l large flat plate and so we're, we're describing the heat flow or the heat flux here so we have a large flat plate and I'm gonna draw uh, a little element in this flat plate and I'm gonna describe uh, so let's set up our, our coordinate system so we're gonna have uh, X in this direction and uh, Y in this direction and then we have a, a flow in so that's I'm gonna call that Q uh, of X so that's our flow in, and then uh, that's in the x direction. Well, that's wrong. That's going to be q of y, q of y, and we're going to have in the x direction q of x, and then flowing out we're going to have uh, q of x plus delta x, and flowing out in the y direction, we're going to have q of y plus delta y. And that's where this distance here is delta x. And this distance here is delta y. And then we can also define the thickness of the plate as this distance here. That's going to be delta z and then a change in time we're just going to call that delta t okay uh, so given this we can write out uh, the following equation so we have q of x so I'm just going to write out what I'm seeing for this element uh, q of x times delta and I'll come back after I get this written out all right, so what we get here is Q of X delta Y delta Z delta T, and you can see that. So we got incoming in, we got Q of X, and that's acting across of all of delta Y, see, and in the other direction that we can going going into the the element here, if you were to imagine it being a 3D element times delta Z, and that's also going to act across time. So the deflux is going to be over some certain uh, time interval delta t plus q of y delta x delta t so that's uh, in the in the y direction here uh, and then that's going to be equal to the flux going out q of x plus delta x delta y delta z delta t plus q of y plus delta y delta x delta z delta t uh, so that should make sense then uh, what we can do is just uh, simplify this equation uh, you can see right away that these the delta z delta t's are going to go away this should have a delta z the delta z delta t's are going to go away because they're in they're in everything uh, so we can just divide by those uh, and then we can collect these uh, q's over onto one side and then uh, I'll just show you uh, what we get here well it's actually before I do that let me scroll down so I've got room to write here so we get what we get is this q of x minus q of x plus delta x all over delta x, and so to do this, I had to div I had to multiply by delta x over delta x, which is fine, uh, and and then multiply on this one on this term. I had to multiply by delta y over delta y, uh, and then this is what I get. And so you can see this is basically the definition of the derivative. And so if I take the limit as uh, delta x goes to zero and the limit as delta y goes to zero and uh, I simplify this out, what I'm going to get is uh, the partial of Q uh, with respect to X. So minus the partial of Q uh, with respect to Y is equal to zero. Now, uh, this is all great and everything, but what if our boundary conditions are actually given in terms of temperature, not not heat flux? Because if, it, if they were given uh, by heat flux, we'd be okay. But if it's given in terms of temperature, then what we need is this equation. Uh, it says QI equals minus K rho C um, 
partial of T and uh, it's the temperature uh, with respect to I where I is whatever uh, whatever variable that we're dealing with and so we're going to just plug this in uh, for each of our Q's that's here and here so we're going to have a second partial of Q with respect to X and a second partial of or not Q excuse me it'll be a second partial of T uh, with respect to X and a second partial of T uh, with respect to Y so doing that let me just see and then the other thing is we'll have this minus rho uh, k rho delta c and that'll go in both this term and this term we can divide that out because we have this zero here we can divide that out and, and that'll go so what we'll end up with is the second partial of t uh, the temperature with respect to x plus the second partial of t with respect to y equal to zero and that is the Laplace equation